that city park back in Clarissa. That was a good stop for us, wasn't it, Dave? Yep. Drive all four directions with it, from it with our Jeep. Seeing that. Uh, Alexandria, uh, found some Amish stores two different days. Went up to see the headwaters of Mississippi River from there. So We kind of made that our home base. Uh, you know, we were driving long hours on Wednesday and we were starting to, you know, not find anything that we wanted. And Dave was just looking through the book. We found that it was highlighted from our free RV book. And that's just the way it goes with us. Sometimes we can hit it when we wing it like this. And we very well could have ended up in the Park Rapids Walmart parking lot that night. Okay, that's the chance we take the way we do this. Yep. Okay, now we are at Bertha, Minnesota. Let me flip this. This is a wayside campground right on the road. And they have a shower house in here. And if you're not camping here, you pay $3 for a shower. And if you are camping here, I think it's 20 or $30 a night. I'm not sure. But uh, we're going to go in and take a shower before we move on. Here it is. $30 with hookups. All right. So we got not camping just a regular shower we're gonna get after it i just got out of the shower oh dave just got out of his shower too paying our three dollars uh just wanted to get on here and tell you everybody asks how we find these places um two apps that we use all the time freecampsite.net now that app is starting to get real glitchy i don't think they are keeping up with that anymore but if you can get on a laptop that one is better like it i can use it on my phone but it's real glitchy i overlander shows you free camping real camping water sources dump stations and showers but they don't show all of them because the apps are only as good as the people that put in where these places are so you have to use other things like Dave uses his GPS. So you have to be resourceful in what you use. Can't put all your eggs in one basket. Okay, don't rely solely on those apps because this place I don't think is on any of the apps. We found this by driving by it the other day. We pulled in to check out how much it costs to camp. Dave ran in, he saw the sign about showering if you don't camp here. Perfect for us. Now we are moving on. I think we're heading up into Deer River. Let's go. Feet up on the dash and the calling open road. Road trip classics on the radio. With your hand tied in mind, there's no such thing as time. We have a quick little stop here in Akeley, Minnesota. We decided to stop and check out this huge Paul Bunyan statue. We're near the Paul Bunyan State Forest. So we decided to check this out. Nice little stop so that we could rest our legs, let the dog out. We are heading on now through. We're heading into Deer River. We got some dispersed camping spots we're looking at near Lake Winnebagosh. Some life is away and you fall into my arms. Life is not the same when we're apart If you follow me tonight I'll walk with you for life And we can go anywhere you want to go Ooh, there's no place we can go Ooh, my home's where a spot. Right there. Did y'all just see that? There's a spot right there. Checking it out. Look at the view we would have. Within 
within four miles of here. We're just gonna go check that out just to make sure. But that back there has an awesome view. We're gonna be by ourselves. We have three bars of service. Yep. The only thing, there's a slight smell that we're not sure what it is yet, but we're gonna see how bad that is tonight. But I think we're probably gonna be staying there for two or three nights, we'll see. But we are gonna be going around and showing you, and us, uh, those other two campgrounds that are in the area, just in case we need to move. Look how beautiful this is down here. There's ferns, ferns on each side of the road. It's like a lush rainforest, isn't it, Dave? Yep. And there's some pretty new power poles down through here. I don't know if they had storm damage or what. I'm here to tell you what y'all can trust from us. We are not going to leave a stone unturned. David thinks there's another dispersed camping spot down here past the Bowen Lodge. So we are checking it out. There's a beach and a marina down here, too. They got definitely got docking for watercrafts. Oh, they got fuel here. Yeah, fuel. fuel. You can rent a kayak and stuff. Canoes, kayaks, probably paddle boards. All right, we think we found the dispersed camping spot. We got to go back up this hill, and we're going to show you what you look for when you're in a national forest. Any road off the main road, you got to check that out because that means there's something down there. Now we just gotta find that road back. Is that it? That's somebody's, there's a deer hunting stand there. All right, that did not work out for us. That was a private property, somebody had their best to pick up. Had to look this up this is a mayfly mayfly swarm just above the water right around dust time males swarm and the females fly into it to reproduce the males then die they only live about 24 hours set up on the banks of lake winnie the gosh dave can you tell by looking at this fire how long ago like if we came yesterday like we were talking about Okay, and I just saw something else. Is that an agate rock? I'm not, that rock might be coming home with me. One more view before we, well, we're not calling it a night, but I think we're going to put this away and just enjoy this. Getting ready to have simple supper tonight. We're popped up, we're ready to go. The smell that we smelt earlier, now we don't smell. So we don't know what that was. It stays so light up here, we decided to take a quick trip south about five miles and go check out the Corps of Engineer Campground Winnie Dam nearby. All right. We are gonna give you a campground tour of Winnie Dam. $24, plus you got America's Beautiful Pass, and it's half off of that. If you see any numbers, Dave, here's number four to the left. No. Three and five over here. Five looks like a good one. 
Five's a real good one. Yep. You're going to be all by yourself over there. Right next to that little dead end road goes down to the forest road. Number six to my left. Number seven to my right. These spots are really spaced out good. Number nine to my right. Eight to my left. These spots are have a lot of space. Number 11, you would be right there in the woods. Interior loop, you have lots of room. This one right here, even though you're on the interior, you're almost by yourself other than people driving by like us. Number 12. Number 13 is to the right. It looks like odd numbers on the right. Even numbers Dump on station. The inside. Number 14 is to my left. Man, I'm really glad we came through here. They have electric. Yep. They have a dump station. They have a boat ramp below the tower. dam. Number 15 to my right. Number 16 is open right now. We knew there was one open in here. We almost came here. 17. 18 to my left. Not a big campground. That's 19. 21 right here in front of us. That might be it. Oh, there's 22 right there. Another bathroom. We're at Lake Winnebegosh Dam and Reservoir. The Corps of Engineers dates back to the Revolutionary War. On June 16, 1775, the day before the Battle of Bunker Hill, the Continental Congress appointed a chief engineer and two assistants for the Grand Army. A few years later, Congress formally established the Corps of Engineers. Winnebegosh Dam, located on Leak Lake Indian Reservation, was first construction of the six dams. It's located on the Mississippi River, 170 miles from its source in Lake Itasca. Winnie Dam, Winnie Dam was completed by Corps of Engineers, Engineers in 1885 to aid navigation and water supply. Raised the lake level 10 feet. Show them all the places we've been running around to. And we, we're camped lodge, we're right. camped right here, I think we think. Yeah, we're thinking right there. We've been to that boat ramp. We've been to this canoe launch right there, just first camping. We've been to here. We've been to Sioux Cut and Visitor Center. Been all the way around over here to Moose. We've been over here to Sealy. West Sealy's closed. We've been to Deer Lake. We might go over here to this historic cut foot Sioux Ranger Station. Not maybe tomorrow. We'll see. We're going to Voyagers National Park tomorrow. Yeah. All right, let's go walk across the dam, Dave. There's the Mississippi River. It's a little bit bigger now. Yep. Is this the first dam since Acasca or is there another one upstream? Itasca. No, I think this is the first one. Okay. There's a series of six. We haven't seen that very much. The National Great River Road from Minnesota. We're getting our fill of it on this trip. Look at that lake. Gorgeous. We're back at camp. Obviously, we didn't put the phone down for the night. I just want to let y'all know that that spray stuff Dave had has made a world of difference in this camp. I took the dog for a walk down the road, and the, me and the dog both got attacked by flies. But as soon as we came back into our camp, no flies. Oh, 
This view is beautiful. Look at the birds. And we got some pelicans. Hang on, wait for it. We're going to put a wrap on the Lake Winnipegosh video. And as you can tell, we forgot to do this while we were at Lake Winnipegosh. We were at uh, Lake Ka... Right, Birch Lake, but we're in south of Kiwishi. Ka... Kiwishi... We can't remember. Uh, so we're going to put a wrap on the Lake Winnipegosh video, obviously. Uh, that water was beautiful. I was out there on the kayak. I was by myself. I was taking pictures and videos and people were like, it looks like you're by yourself. I was like, there's like two boats in this big, big lake and me. Yep. Anything else you want to use on the phone? With one of your friends, I can hear you talking. He's having so much fun. Anything else? That was a really good spot. Yeah, the south wind was really crashing on the waves at the little beach area that was back then. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say that we think that's one of our top three yeah. places that we've stayed at this first camping-wise. Uh, Holly Beach over in Louisiana and Avalanche in Colorado. It was pretty awesome. I would definitely go back there in a heartbeat. It was beautiful. Yeah, it's a real big lake all over here. It's a beautiful area all around. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to get? Nothing I can think of. America's beautiful. Get out and see it. Like, subscribe if you want to. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>